it, okay? All right, now, for this last part here, for this last part here, um, I didn't trust myself to draw these accurately live, so I've already drawn them, and I'm just going to reveal them to you. But I just want you to think about whether you can anticipate what things are fitting in this gap over here on the right-hand side, okay? Um, for example, you actually um, know what's going to go here in the middle. Think about this. This is stationary. It's stationary, so you know it's going to be like sort of horizontally, right? And also, there's no concavity at this particular point. But it's not just a straight line. We've already drawn one of those, okay? Have a think about this. It's not a maximum turning point. It's not a minimum turning point. What's the other kind of thing you can get when you have a stationary point? We have another, it's a very long, awkward oh, name. Yeah, they kind of wiggle a bit, right? Okay, they've got a long, awkward name. We call these guys, does, does this picture make sense of it for you? Do you remember what's the long, awkward name? It's a horizontal point of inflection. It's a long name, right? Okay, now, these horizontal points of inflection, right? We had to introduce them to you first because they are related to stationary points, which we learned about a while ago, okay? But I wonder if any of you kind of suspected, if there are horizontal points of inflection, then are there other kinds of points of inflection that aren't horizontal? And the answer is yes. Um, you can have points of inflection that are not horizontal. They might be increasing. Um, they're going to look like this. Now, have a look at the top. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave all of this here so you have the time to read it, right? I want you to look at them, okay? We looked at this last week when I showed you that pandemic curve in, I think it was Guangdong was the name of the province, right? Do you remember? There was a point where the curve looked exponential, and then we were like, ooh, ooh, it starts slowing down and starts looking logarithmic. So it's, um, which one is that? Uh, it's this one over here. Do you see that, right? It's like, ooh, it's super steep, but then at a certain point, it's sort of, it's still increasing, but it sort of starts to increase at a slower rate, okay? So that's what you got on the left. Um, you could have a nightmare situation over here on the right where things start off slow, but then you're like, oh no, we didn't do any social distancing, we didn't do any testing, so the pandemic just got worse and worse and worse. So you can see it skyrocketing over there on the right-hand side. Both of these are what we call points of inflection, okay? Now these are increasing points of inflection because if you have a look, I've, I've showed it in grey there, have a look at the gradient at the point of inflection. Do you notice the gradients are both going up? Do you see that? So they're not horizontal points of inflection, they're increasing, which is why they belong in that top row. Sophie. If like, I don't know, um, if the curve yep. here, yep. then they have some kind of concavity. Okay, very good. So this is very sneaky, right? Because the graphs are curved, a lot of the parts of this graph do have concavity. I'll show you, for example. Um, I've even drawn it. See, uh, why am I blue? There we go. Um, see this part here, right? It's concave up. I've even shown the arrow right here to show you it's concave up. But that's why I've drawn the dot right there. See at that one spot right there, it's not any concavity. This part's concave up, this part's concave down. Right smack bang in the middle, it's neither. It is neither concave up, nor concave down. Um, same deal here, right? See that one spot in the middle? It's not concave up, it's not concave down, it's, it's between those two concavities. So a line so would need to be a continuous. Right, right. So that's why you can see over here, these guys are straight lines. The whole thing has no concavity, right? But for these guys over here, there's just one little brief moment where there's no concavity, right? It's just the one where I put the dot. Finally, uh, I'll do the bottom, right? These are still points of inflection, but they're not increasing, um, they're, they're decreasing, right? So I'll just complete it there for you. Um, it's the same thing, but in reverse, right? They're going down. Can you see, can you make out those gray lines there? They're all heading downwards because the gradient is negative, okay? So everything you can see um, in this little sort of semicolon in here, these are all different varieties of points of inflection. I know there's a lot on here. <laughs> when, um, I know this is going to sound weird, but when I started my teaching career, I used to teach students about this, and I only taught them about some parts of the table. In fact, only about the, the extreme corners. So there's four corners, right? I only showed them those. And then when students started to encounter different things, they'd be like, Mr. Wu, 
you didn't tell us about this thing. And I was like, oh yeah, I didn't, sorry. Um, and so even though there's a large variety here, there's like a zoo of different kinds of functions and how they behave, um, you will encounter each of them one at a time at different parts of different graphs. So I hope it helps you make sense of it, okay?